Dealing with uncertainty. Uncertainty is a key feature of projects and a major challenge for project managers. Uncertainty manifests throughout a project timeline, but is most prevalent in the early stages of a project. Here, we see a project timeline separate, separated into phases. Concept, design, realization, commissioning, and operation. Our ability to affect changes to a project significantly decreases during the first two phases. It's relatively easy to modify the project while it's being developed and designed. Once we start to realize or build and produce the project, for example by cutting metal or digging foundations, changes to the project are more difficult to implement. For IT projects involving software development, it can be less of a problem, but we must not forget how interfaces between modules and definitions and use of variables throughout the software system become embedded during the design phase. Please remember that management is not a make it up as you go along process. In relation to the decreasing ability to make changes to a project, the cost of making this change increases significantly as the project progresses. Burke suggests that for a software project, these costs can be increased by a factor of 10 as the project proceeds through these phases. This suggests that the project manager needs to be able to clearly define the project in the early stages i.e. during concept and design. The problem is that often, during these early stages, there is insufficient knowledge about the project. The project team experiences a learning curve that suggests we don't know enough about the project until a time when it becomes expensive to modify the initial designs. Early in the project there is high uncertainty and the project team must work to convert uncertainty into certainty. This process is called sense-making, or making sense of the project, by efficiently collecting and interpreting information as soon as possible. If this is not done, with limited management effort invested at the start of the project, the learning curve becomes shallow resulting in the need for significant redesign, rework and wastage. These demand additional management effort to be required as the project progresses, resulting in increased costs and timescales. This is all because insufficient management effort was not invested at the start of the project. If there is a steeper learning curve, there is greater possibility that the need for changes later in the project will be reduced, resulting in lower costs and achievement of original deadlines, reducing the level of management effort needed. Through the application of project management processes, techniques and methods, it is possible to significantly increase the learning curve during the early stages of a project. This will allow a project manager to more clearly define a project at the start and gain early control of the work, cost and deadlines, resulting in more efficient project delivery, effective control and reduced management effort in the later stages. The level of uncertainty must be addressed early in a project. Through investment of management effort, that applies project management processes in order to avoid significant costs and delays in later phases of a project. It is important to invest management effort at the start of a project to identify and agree the project requirements before commencing detailed planning and delivery.